Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about Mean Value Theorem. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. I'm given this problem right here. y equals x squared over 2x minus 4, and we want to find the values of c that satisfy the Mean Value Theorem on our interval from negative 4 to 1. Now, we want to find our f of negative 4 and our f of 1. We plug them into our original function, and I found them for you. Negative 4 in for x gets us a negative 4 thirds. 1 in for x gets us a negative 1 half. Okay. We have those two values now. So now we get, we're going to start working with the mean value theorem. We need to take the derivative. So derivative of our function, okay, derivative of x squared is a 2x times the denominator, 2x minus 4, we're using the quotient rule here, minus derivative of the denominator, which is 2, times the numerator, which is x squared, all over denominator, 2x minus 4, all squared. We set that equal to f of b minus f of a, so negative 1 half, minus a negative 4 thirds, all over b minus a, 1 minus a negative 4. So left-hand side, let's go simplify this. 2x times 2x is a 4x squared. And 2x times a minus 4 is a minus an 8x. And then 2 times x squared is a minus 2x squared. All over, the denominator simplifies out. Now we have 2x minus 4 times itself. So we have 4x squared here minus a 16x minus, uh, plus a 16. I almost said minus there plus 16, is equal to, and this whole right-hand side here, uh, we have plus a positive, plus a positive. Either way, that simplifies to be a 1 sixth. From there, let's go simplify this left-hand side a little bit more. 4x squared minus a 2x squared is a 2x squared. So we have 2x squared here minus 8x over 4x squared minus 16x plus 16 equals 1 over 6. And now here is where I decide to cross multiply. I multiply a 6 up here, right, like this. And this function, 6 times a 2x squared minus 8x, and then 4x squared minus 16x plus 16 times the 1. 6 times 2x squared is a 12x squared, and then 6 times a minus 8x is a minus 48x. That is equal to, let's rewrite basically the denominator, 4x squared minus 16x plus 16. Now from here we go combine our like terms. So I'm going to subtract everything over. So minus the 4x from the 12x squared, or 4x squared, 12x squared is an 8x squared here. Add a 16x to both sides, and I'm minus 32x now. And then subtract a 16 over here. Equal to 0. 8 goes into all parts here. Divide everything by 8, and I have 8 uh, in each thing, so I have x squared minus a 4x minus 2 equals 0. So now from here, we want to apply, well, we have to use the quadratic formula here. So setting it up, we have x equals a negative, a b value, uh, which is a negative 4 plus or minus the square root negative 4 squared minus 4 times our a value, which is 1, and our c value negative 2, all over 2 times our a value 1. This simplifies all out to be x equals, we have a 2 minus square root of 6, and 2 plus square root of 6. And so only one of these is actually in our domain, from negative 4 to 1, our interval there. And that is in 2 minus square root of 6. 2 plus square root of 6 is outside, clearly. 2, right, is bigger than 1, right? So we have 2 minus square root of 6. And so the c value here, the only one that we can use, is equal to 2 minus square root of 6. And that is the c value that satisfies the mean value theorem. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.